Hey guys, it's HodgePodge here, and today we are going to be doing a review of the Papo Acrocanthosaurus. Now this figure was actually requested to me for a review by my good friend Ellie, and I'll plug her Redbubble, as her art is fantastic and I would love for you to purchase some products of hers, as they are wonderful. Now Acrocanthosaurus was a genus of Carcharodontosaurid theropod dinosaur that lived during the early Cretaceous in what is now Texas and Utah. Now when we look at this model you can see right off the bat as to be expected with Papo models that the scale detail is unreal. It is simply incredible. Look at that head sculpt. Now Papo is known for not being the best with accuracy but I have to say I'm very impressed with this, considering it's a Papo model. Now, when we look at the head, we can see that that is definitely the skull of Acrocanthosaurus, which has a very distinct skull shape. Now, sadly, it is a little bit shrink-wrapped, as you can see the uh, antorbital fenestra there, and it has been coloured a quite attractive colour. Speaking of the colour, I should also mention that this is the 2018 paint variant, rather than the original 2017 purple coloration. I think this one does definitely look better. Uh, we can see the articulated jaw, the inside of the mouth is incredibly well sculpted. You can see the roof of the mouth, the tongue. Now the tongue sh probably shouldn't be sticking up like this but it's honestly a nitpick. The teeth have been beautifully sculpted and the scale detail is wonderful. See the eye there is gorgeous. It's really really fantastic then when we go on to the body we can see the very distinctive sail of Acrocanthosaurus however recently there have been theories that this may not have actually been a sail at all it may have actually just been a fatty hump but that's still speculated now the pose on this model is a bit odd as it's posed in kind of like a quadrupedal way where it's balancing on its forelimbs and flip it around <laughs> you can see that this digit here, the second digit on the the right arm is a bit bent because it rests on this this digit and it does make it look a bit strange but honestly it stands up so I don't think it's an issue really and plus the detail, the, the accuracy on them is also really good. The proportion looks good, they're well muscled. And look at the skin folds and wrinkles on the neck here as it meets their shoulders. That's gorgeous. And the scale detail and the paint job is wonderful. The paint application is simply gorgeous. Uh, the, I love this spotty camouflage kind of look they've gone for with this model. I think it looks so much better than the original purple design. Looking down at the feet, uh, while I think the middle toe should be a bit longer, uh, that's a nitpick, and the scales on this are simply amazing. I'm, I'm just honestly blown away with the detail on this model. See more skin folds here, where the leg meets the torso, and then we get to the very long tail and this seems proportionally correct as well. It's also nice and thick at the base as it should be. This figure just has such a strong presence to it and I think that is honestly just, it just really adds to the overall presentation of this piece. And it's also very accurate which is such a nice change for Papo models as they are usually um, more Jurassic Park kind of styled, not really going for accuracy and rather just going for um, cool sculpts and details so this is a this is honestly a breath of fresh air as we get best of both worlds and the articulated jaw also adds to um, more creative posing which I really like and the detail is just it's unreal and the paint job is fantastic the pose is a little odd but I think um, I think it it's it makes it unique I think it gives it more of an identity amongst many uh, theropod models. Now when it comes to size, this is a very good size model. This is pretty big. So in terms of length, 
you're looking at about just shy of 30 centimeters that's probably about 29 centimeters long and then in terms of the height which you can barely see at the tip of the tail I'd say that's about just under 16 centimeters at the highest point so yeah this is a good size model it's wonderful I got mine from everythingdinosaur.com order one for yourself I highly recommend this model it's accurate it's detailed it's it's just wonderful it's big impressive and I think the pose does make it look unique and I think this will look so cool in dioramas and stuff thank you so much for watching and again be sure to check out my friend Ellie's Redbubble account Thank you so much for watching, bye bye now.